friends. Welcome back to the Red Lotus Elixir Tarot. It is, of course, wonderful to reconnect with you. And to my new subscribers, a warm welcome to our magical community. I'm Tamara, your guide on this journey through the cards. And I am so grateful to share these moments and insights with you. So let's dive into the cosmic energies and uncover the messages the universe has in store for you. So in today's pick a card reading, we'll explore your romantic future, who's coming into your life next. Okay, so get comfortable, get ready to trust your intuition. And remember that these readings are designed to inspire and entertain and only offer a glimpse into the potential energies around you. You hold the power, always follow your heart and choose what resonates with you. So there are three options for you to choose from. And today I used ice cream cones or something cool because it's been very, very hot lately. <laughs> So I figure this is very fitting, um, you know, um, anyway, <laughs> sweet treats, um, hopefully like the person who's coming into your life. So right now, feel free to pause the video, grab a cozy beverage or a snack, take your time and when you're ready, take a deep breath, send to yourself, ask the question, choose the option, stirs your passion and excites you the most. So while you do that, I'm going to shuffle up these cards and I will see you at your pile selection. Hey there, group one. So you chose the ice cream cone, I believe the sugar cone ice cream, the first option. Okay, and so your card is the map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. We're gonna leave that right there, okay? This is your oracle card. And um, so, the reading is for your romantic future, right? So who's going to show up next in your romantic life? Who is this person? So I'm going to look at this person, um, try to get as much information about them as I possibly can, tell you about them, and whatever else pops up. You know how it goes. <laughs> All right, so with the map mate per me bleh, bleh. okay, with the map maker of destiny, okay? I see that your person, of course, this is authentic purpose, tries to be as authentic as, as possible. They are very determined. They're very spirited. They have um, a lot of autonomy. They're very independent, right? Like you can't hold them down. It's all about their, their independence, their free will. Um, but they're also with the 24 there. It feels like they're very family oriented, people oriented, um, stable, you know, and I do see the map maker of destiny. And this tells me that this relationship is coming to you as a part of destiny, right? It's written. But I also see this person is very sweet, authentic, poetic. They look like a Pisces um, cancer, I'm thinking, okay? So they might have a sun or in Pisces or cancer, moon or rising sign as well. Um, I see that your person is just very, very dreamy, right? A uh, poetic writer, uh, romantic values, freedom, um, and there's destiny at play here, right? You're destined to meet this person. May even be trying to map out their own life. You know what I mean? Um, like they take charge, they plan, and they may even have an idea of who they want in their life in terms of like you know who their soulmate is. Okay, so let me get some tarot cards and try to get some more clarity for you a little bit more detail here okay so for group one please tell me who this person they will meet next is and the spirit was ready to get started right they they didn't <laughs> they didn't even flinch they were like let's get it going all right let's see we got the lovers we got the ten of pentacles let me see if i can get one more card for connecting to my wonderful group ones and tell me about the person they're destined to meet next in romance. Yes. All right. Person is very supportive, protective. Okay. I'm hearing anti inflammatory, so they don't like conflict or to start things just because. Um, so give me a second. Let me take a look at those cards. Actually, let me I'm pull a few more. Okay and get some additional information here. Okay, 
And I'm shuffling off screen because doing this is a little awkward with the phone, <laughs> but I guess I can. Okay, tell me more. Okay, there we go. We got boom, boom. One more, please. And the night of. Everything's falling everywhere. Goodness, I just dropped something. God. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Need my squeaky chair. All right, let's see what's going on here, okay? Let's see what we got in terms of your person. Okay, who are you going to meet next? So as I said, this is destined for you to meet this person. Um, so I'm looking at this. Definitely Pisces, right? Pisces came up immediately. I was sensing that with that person, Pisces Cancer. Um, and I see that they show love by being very supportive, okay? Um, this person will take you out. They'll write you love letters or romantic texts, poems. They're very good with writing, I do see. Um, they have a raucous, like, wild, explorative sexual style. Because I'm getting all kinds of things in my head there, okay? And feelings. Um they change directions uh, or they, they've changed directions, right? It feels like they just left a relationship when you meet them. They absolutely, absolutely value their freedom. Um, they're fiercely independent, as I said before. They're great cooks. I am sensing that as well. Um, you could be introduced by someone you know, like a relative, right? Some of you could meet on the internet or just really close to where you live or work or something like that. Even on the job, um, in a hospital setting, if you work in a hospital, it just feels like you, you're outside or you're in your at your job or somewhere close to home, right? Like internet, something like that. Um, they have dreams, right? They're very ambitious. I do see that. Um, hmm. Let's see what else I'm getting here. They believe in, in commitment and marriage for sure, okay? They want children. Um, if you don't have them already, they'll probably want children with you. If you have them, then I think they're okay with that because um, they're, they're very fun, right? They're very creative. They're constantly working on themselves. Um, seems like they're foodies, right? They're, they're good at cooking, but also... Um, they love to cook. They love to eat. I'm seeing that, okay? They, they're they into celebrating, like, with family. They love to go to, like, cookouts and parties. And um, they may plan a birthday party for you. If, you know, if something special is coming up, they'll do that. You could meet them right, like, at their birthday, be right before their birthday, just after they've celebrated a birthday, something like that. Or it could be your birthday, um, they're definitely into exercising, taking care of themselves, um, taking care of their health, heart healthy, I'm hearing. They'll buy you something, flowers, bring you flowers, maybe on a first date. They're definitely the traditional marriage commitment type of person. I, I do see that, okay? This person feels like a soulmate. Um, if not like a long term soulmate you know it, it, I feel like soulmates are long term okay so I wouldn't say they're not a long term soulmate um, it, it, the connection I feel like when you first meet is weird though it may not be initially like very attracted to them but spirit is saying give them a chance right and keep an open mind because this person is going to turn out to be like one of your true loves um and I'm not going to tell you any lies. This relationship, it looks like it'll take some work. But ultimately, it will be a healing relationship for you. So it's going to teach you, like, you're going to learn to forgive. And there's lessons in this relationship, okay? I feel like it's going to last a few years. So it's pretty stable. There's a lot of kissing and, and making up going on in this relationship, I, is what I'm feeling here, okay? Um, let's see if there's anything else I'm getting. 
Yeah, this partner is definitely going to be in alignment with you, with the water servant I'm seeing there, okay? Um, so if you're feeling like you've been with people who are unsupportive of you, this person is definitely going to be that for you, right? To hold you up, um, try to support you. Um, I feel this person may actually propose to you or you will be talking about marriage in this relationship, okay? Hmm... I'm also seeing, like I said, initially, you may not take to this person, but you're going to feel something about them, like in your gut, that's going to make you give them a chance. Um, there's a lot of creative energy around this person, uh, a lot of feminine creative energy as well, which is not to say that, you know, if this is a man and you're, you're straight, uh, or this is a woman and you're straight, this person is going to be, you know, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that, like, also th that their spirit internally, creation is very feminine, okay? So they're definitely into some kind of art form, um, whether it be writing, singing, poetry, dancing, whatever it is, they're, they're creative, right? And not just those types of performing arts or, you know, the, the traditional, they could be creating anything, okay? Um, they're very into the outdoors. They, they gain, like, feels like inspiration from being outside okay um they're definitely a caretaker they're a storyteller they can inspire people right educate people they're really into beauty as i can see there with the empress okay um let's see what else mm, they're definitely very persistent okay um I feel like they're easygoing, yes, but they don't give up easily. You understand? So they'll keep working at it because if they have a plan and they feel like they can do it, they'll keep going and keep pushing and keep being persistent. Um, they're probably a little slow, you know, by normal people's standards. Not like slow in the mind. I mean, slow to do things, slow to act. So initially they might not be so pushy with you. Um, although they will be persistent, you understand? Like, they're not going to give up, but they're not a pushy person either. Um, very inspirational. All about their inner peace, you know, and knowing when to to, to relax. Um, and tr they're, they're very intuitive, okay? So those are some of the things I'm seeing about your person. Let me see if there's anything else that I should tell you. Because I feel like you're going to be with this person for a few years, Okay. Because there's some lessons to learn, some growing that you need to do with this person. Okay, so I, I don't feel like this is a long-term kind of lifetime soulmate, but this is um, someone who, a soulmate who you have a strong destiny with, okay? And you're supposed to learn from them. I'm very passionate, okay? You'll enjoy a lot of passionate times with this person. I did see that, definitely. Okay, and I did feel that. Let's see. What else? Tell me more about group one's future romantic partner. The next romantic partner. Okay. I feel like, let's see. All right. Yeah, so I did get that initially, right? Unrequited love. Like, there's something... That's going to make you be like, mm, this person's not for me. I'm not really feeling them. But I do feel as if you will, in the, you know, eventually give them a chance. Okay? Um, I do feel that. And there a lot of passion is going to develop in this relationship. A whole lot of it. Let's see. Let me grab Clarifier. Okay, yeah, you guys are. Yeah, you're gonna. I mean, there's gonna be fighting. Yeah, arguments. I do see that. Okay, um, breaking up, getting back together. You know, making up. It's a lot of making up here. Okay, lots of it. 
but this is a, a long-term partner in terms of like a soulmate, not a forever partner, but I do see a few years with this person, okay? And is there anything else, Spirit, you want me to tell? Anything else you want me to say or tell them? Okay. The magician here. Um, I feel like it's going to take you by surprise with the magician, this relationship. But with that, um, it's the Ouroboros. It's a cycle. Yeah, like you, you guys are going to kind of go through these cycles, these up and down cycles. Um, that's what it feels like to me. But it just feels very passionate and um, you do a lot of work together, right? Um, there are a lot of things that you have in common, and I think that's what's going to prompt you to give this relationship a chance, like maybe working on the same goals together, okay? That's what I'm seeing there. And as I said before, I think marriage is going to be mentioned here. Yeah, so the two of you are going to work together to... Um, for fire, make the relationship work. Um, you're very compatible. There's a lot that you have in common. Um, you're going to find new opportunities together. You're going to celebrate together. You're very traditional together and hmm, very fertile. So fertile in terms of like, you know, bringing in things, manifesting things with the magician, but fertile also in terms of I'm feeling like children, you might actually have children in this relationship or talk about having children. So if you don't want any kids, be very careful. Okay? Um, that's what I'm seeing. And, mm, yeah, I'm feeling like you're going to go through some issue with pregnancy or kids here. And I don't really want to get too much into it. But yeah, I just, I, I do see that. Okay? Um, so if you resonated with this reading, if you enjoy the reading... Um, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for entrusting me with your energy. Um, and don't forget, if you enjoy the video, to give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe for more magical content, and if you're interested in a personal reading or exploring some enchanting items from my Etsy shop, all the links and details are in the description box below. Your support allows me to continue to share my passion with the world. And I am deeply grateful for each and every one of you. I can't wait to connect with you again in the next video. So until then, I wish you nothing but the best. Stay magical, stay blessed. Keep shining bright. Hi there, group two. So if you chose the popsicle, this is your reading. So this is all about your future romantic partner. Who are you going to meet next? So let's take a look and see. First card we have for you is the Dream Walker. Dreams, the collective good. Illusions. So I feel like your person that you're meeting next is a go-getter, okay? Especially with the number eight there, it just feels very much like this person goes after what they want or they try to attract what they want because when I'm looking at the Dream Walker, I'm feeling Pied Piper. Okay, Pied Piper energy. You know the story of the Pied Piper who stole the village's children because they didn't pay him for his service. Um, so he got on his magic piccolo or flute and in the middle of the night wandered off with the children. So his flute playing or his piccolo or pipe playing attracted the children to go away with him. So I'm feeling like your person definitely has a lot of eight energy, right? Um, and that is a lot of strength a lot of determination. Um, it feels very much like earth energy, like Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Feels more like Capricorn energy to me though, okay? So let's see what else I can pick up about your person <clears throat> whom you're going to meet next. And I, I want to shuffle in front, but because of the way my camera's laid out, you know, it's kind of weird and awkward, but I want you guys to see I'm shuffling, but okay. But I, I'll probably shuffle off camera because it's just easier, okay? Um, so the, the Page of Pentacles comes up. Oh, yeah, like I was saying, right? So the Page of Pentacles is that a Capricorn. I, I was 
immediately picking that up. Um, this is a person who is very dedicated. They're focused. They're determined. Um, they could be in school. Okay, I'm hearing law school. Um, this is a person who is very particular, um, very detail oriented, cares about the little details. Okay. I don't know so much about the big vision of it, but the little details have spent a lot of time kind of figuring out and planning, um, and making sure everything is perfect. So I am getting that. Okay. There is a sense of, um, because of the dream walker dreaminess to them though. Okay. So even though I said like they don't pay attention to the big vision and they're more about the details, I think they do dream big though, okay? I feel like this person definitely wants to achieve a lot of things um, and they go after what they want. Okay, They're very determined. Let's see what else I can pick up about this person. Okay. Tell me more. Can I think of it too in the future? Romantic partner. Cards fell. It's a bit of sadness around this person. Worry. Um, got the Ace of Pentacles there. Yeah, I, I keep hearing imagination. They have a, a big imagination. I feel like more like a vision, like going after their dreams and what they want and their goals. Um, they're very, very focused on also their family life, right? They love that they have children. They're very into their kids. Um, anybody who's related to them, anybody who they consider kin or family, I feel like they do, you know, they focus a lot on that. Um, also material goals. The Ace of Pentacles is talking about material things. So they're very focused on developing material goals. Um, I've also, I also feel like in, in love, they haven't had much success in the past, um, definitely their business career, that sort of thing is doing really well. And they're spending some time developing their spiritual self now. Um, they're not that keen on dating. I don't think they're trying to do that right now. Okay. They're, they've had past troubles in relationships. So they're a little leery, fearful, guarded. Their walls are up. Um, I feel like there's a struggle to feel powerful or to feel confident or to feel dominant. They're pretty easygoing most times. They're very intelligent. Um, even though they've been dating or whatever their relationship status is, they feel inexperienced with matters of the heart. Like they, they, they've been in it, but they've not been in it. You know, they're not really paying attention and they're not learning a lot from it. Um, they tend to pull back if they sense danger of any kind. I think whether that's material or, you know, personal, so they don't take a lot of risks. They're not high risk people, you know, and that goes for their money too. Um, let's see what else I'm seeing here. Pull another card. Okay. Tell me more about your two future romantic partner. Okay. Got, what's this? The magician. Aha, they're very resourceful, okay? Um, they're handy. I feel like they can fix a lot of things or if they don't know how. They usually go about looking how to do it, okay? Um, let's see what else I'm getting here. Give me a second. I feel like love life between the two of you is going to be very hot and steamy. <laughs> passionate let's see i feel like you know this person though i feel like you already know this person this is somebody from that you've been involved with or you are involved with okay that's what i'm feeling this person's very guarded they're trying to be more open though i'm feeling like trying to be more supportive uplifting <clears throat> All right, tell me about part two's person. Tell me more. Mm, they're a big spender or they like to, some of them could like to spend, but like, I feel like they spend on good things, not like, um, you know, just spending money on anything. They make sure they 
kind of observe if it's valuable, if it's well made, right? So they'll spend money on things that are worth it so they don't have to keep spending money. And that makes a lot of sense to me, okay? They enjoy nice things. Okay. Judgment. Um, very successful in work and career. I was already sensing that, right? Um, yeah, they work really hard and they've moved up in the ranks in terms of their work and career or business or whatever they're doing. They do enjoy luxury. Um, they like to buy gifts for the people who they love. And they're very protective, I feel like. Okay. Let's see what else. And we're going to look at um, your relationship as well. See what will take place in the relationship. Okay. Solid. Yeah. Like four of earth. They're very solid individual. Um, very conservative though, in a way. Okay. Conservative with their money, conservative with their, their life choices. Um, good manifestors. Okay. Anything they set their mind to, they're able to bring it to life. Okay. They have a very solid foundation. Um, they might be stubborn, I feel like. Okay. So once they set their mind to something, they're doing it. They're determined. And I, that's just a lot of what I'm picking up about them. Very Capricorn kind of energy. And I'm seeing that right here, right? Page of, page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Okay. Well, let's see what's going to take place between the two of you. Yeah. So, I mean, they're master manifestors. They can free themselves from any problems if they put their mind to it. They can be creative. They, they like to network. Um, they're capable of transforming things around them or their world around them, transcending limitations. We allow that. So that, yeah, they're just really hard workers. They work hard. They're successful. They're producers, you know. Um, so let's see what's what's going to take place in your relationship, okay? Let's see here. And I'm hoping this resonates with you guys. Let's see. Tell me about what it be so between group number two and their future romantic partner, this future romantic partner. What'll happen? Okay. And as I said, some of you already know this person. Let your friends help you. So you might be on the outs with this person right now. Um, you guys are very attracted to each other. You know, chemistry, everything. Sex is hot. Feelings are hot. Um, you just tend to go on these roller coaster, you know, emotional um, kind of uh, stints sometimes. <clears throat> so let your friends help you. Let's see what else. All right. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to put them up, actually, so you guys can see them. Yeah, I feel like you married this person, actually. I don't know. I'm getting that from let your friends help you. So that, yes, you probably had friends at your wedding who were helping you get dressed. But I feel you truly married this person. And I'm even would stay optimistic about your love life. This is somebody that you are either married to or in a long-term relationship with, you know this is the one for you. You've been with this person for a while now, um, ups through ups and downs through everything. And I feel like you had a wedding. I do. I feel like that's the flower girl over here, right? Okay. Let's see, tell me more. Yeah, express your love. Yeah, you guys have probably had anniversaries too. And this feels like a solid long-term relationship. You already know this person. You're probably married to them or you're we're living with them or something. It just feels like you guys are having like a little spat right now, okay? So I don't know if you're separated. We're just arguing with each other. But you know this person. This is somebody you're very connected to, long-term, married, living with. Right, probably having some babies and everything. Stable. Um, very stable. Your finances are stable. Your life is stable. You guys probably own a home. It just feels like a, yeah, it feels like a marriage to me. Okay. Or you've been together for a long time. 
Um, so I, I just feel like this is someone whom you're trying to figure out right now. So if you're separated because of a spat or not talking to each other, um, I feel like there'll be discussions about whatever's going on, okay? Let me grab a few more cards. All right, yeah, angry, Knight of Swords, right? Um, you may be angry at this person or, or or were angry at them in the past. Feels like maybe some trust issues, but there's a connection here because the Knight of Swords is all about feeling connected to a person, like love at first sight. This could have been how it was with you guys when you first met. Like, I just know this isn't the person for me, okay? And if you aren't here yet, which I doubt... This is what it's going to be. I already know this is the person for me. I'm going to marry this person. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Seven of Swords. Running away. Being evasive. This person. The knight's going that way. You're going this way. So you're running away from something. So you guys might be away from each other right now because you're angry. It just feels like that to me. But I feel that there's this need to go back, okay? To go back home or to go back to the person. Mm, that's what I'm feeling, okay? The stay optimistic could be correct about your love life. So you're thinking positively about it, right? And um, trying to reconnect and to see because I feel like you're fighting. And I, I say you're fighting not only because the Knight of Swords is charging, but because the Seven of Swords, there's someone stealing the swords to prevent a war from happening. So I think now is a time where you're thinking about a truce or peace. Like, let me put the things away that are causing this problem. Let me try to fix it, okay? So maybe going back together um, and trying to end this and trying to fix what's happening currently. Okay. Okay, I'll take this one. Five of Swords, yeah, you walked away from something that was hurting you, okay? Maybe someone acting selfish, someone, you know, or this person acting selfish, or you, or both of you just arguing, fighting. It feels like you want to change, okay, before you go back. You want something to change, is what that feels like to me. Let's see what else I'm getting here. I don't know if these are the right ones, but I'll try them anyway. Okay, tell me more. Yeah, making moves. Okay. Um, I feel like the two of you definitely are in, in intertwined in each other's lives. You may be going to counseling um, to try to work this out. Or if you're thinking about divorce or something like that or leaving each other, you guys are trying to figure out, okay, wait a minute now. If we leave each other, I'm going to have to split this with you and you're going to have to take this and that. So we're trying to figure out how that would work. You guys may also be, you know, when you're together, you plan on, okay, how can we rule the world? How can we build our empire? How can we, you know, make more money? Maybe we should buy this property. Maybe we should do this. Maybe, we, you know, to try to build yourselves up, to try to... Uh, become more stable to try to you, you guys are good together you are i just feel like right now you're having a little spat you know um you you achieve together you do a lot of of, of good things together i'm feeling okay let's see somebody is also an influencer somebody might also have a channel trying to make money that way one of you guys i don't know which one it is it's just telling me one of you is an influencer all right um this may be control issues in the relationship, okay? But I feel like something's going to happen very soon where you're going to let all this stuff go um, and just kind of reconcile, okay? And I'm seeing it here because I'm looking at all the cards, let go of control issues very soon. Something will take place. Release your ex. It's not your ex. Just releasing the, the issues that you have with each other. And then reconciling. Mm-hmm. And this is you guys making up, right? <laughs> Hanky panky. <laughs> so 
So, I mean, you're going to heal. Yeah, see? The cards are saying so, okay? And yeah, see that? You guys are married. Yeah, you guys are definitely married. You're married or you, you're very long-term partners. And I feel like um, ultimately this is a soulmate relationship, okay? And this is going to last a lifetime. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Because you got to work on your trust as much as you work on your finances and career or, you know, together, your money together. But I don't think it'd be worth it for you guys to break up to find somebody new because you're very passionate about each other. You're very engaging to each other. You know this is the one for you. You already know that, okay? It might be a good idea for you guys to go off on a retreat or something, you know, do something fun together once you decide to make up. Um, and I feel like one of you is very stubborn about forgiving, even though the other one is like, please, 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 and trying to do everything they can. Forgive, okay? Um, reconnect. Free yourself from that burden because um, you have chemistry, okay? Um, don't keep anything from each other. Whatever you're holding back from each other, just say it, you know. And it's it's wise to give your relationship another chance, I feel, because this is true love, okay? Um, you work well together. There's no, I don't feel like either one of you is pulling all the weight. I don't feel like it's an uneven relationship. I feel like you both know how to love yourselves without the other you know, you bring a lot to the table. You know each other very well. You're very safe for each other. This is a soulmate relationship, okay? Um, and you deserve each other, okay? And I do feel like you have, you may have children or you will have children together, okay? Something you might want to talk about though, okay? Um, and whoever doesn't want them, let me keep an open mind with that because it's a lot of attraction here. You guys have fun, you know? Forgive and learn from each other because I feel like, you know, ultimately this is, you can, you guys can be on like one big honeymoon with each other if you just do things right this person is worth it you're worth it um and you have a lot of fun together i just see when you have fun okay um so that's what i'm seeing that's what the cards are telling me and i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i enjoyed doing this this was this was fun this was great i love seeing these kinds of readings this is amazing you know people being together for a lifetime and that's definitely what I'm seeing here. This is going to last a lifetime. You're you're made for each other. You're soul mates. Okay. Very strong bond here. So I just want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. I want to thank you for um, watching, supporting me. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure that you let me know what's going on. You know, did I hit it? <laughs> did I hit it right? Um, it, does it resonate with you? Okay. Otherwise, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe for more magical content. And if you're interested in a personal reading or exploring some enchanting items from my Etsy shop, all the links and details should be in the description box below. Your support allows me to continue sharing my passion with the world. I'm deeply grateful for each and every one of you. I cannot wait to connect with you again in the next video. So until next time, I wish you nothing but the best. Stay magical, stay blessed, and keep shining bright. Toodles! Hi there, group three. So um, you chose, I think, the Sunday. Is that what that is? And so you have the Winged Wise Ones, number 34. Angelic Help, Miraculous Aid. So this is about your future, your future partner, or the next, I'm sorry, the next romantic partner you'll date. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about your partner and then we're going to look at your relationship with this person, okay? So the winged wise ones, I'm going to need some clarification for that, okay? Give me a second. Let's see. Okay, so we got curator. So this person could be a caretaker, all right? Um, this person could be just what you need. Or they could come in at a time where you really feel needy or you feel like you need someone in your life because it's like angelic help, miraculous aid. They could seem like an answer to a prayer is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, and so this person... Uh, feels to me like a Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, 
maybe cancer. And I'm feeling like you may not take to them initially. They might feel a little weird. I mean, you it's like it's that feeling is so strange. It's like you they're attractive, but you feel something about them that's you don't really take to immediately, okay? Um, so they may be very physically attractive, but then you, you get a feeling like, mm, I don't know, maybe there's something about them that's maybe boring to you or even though they look really good or this is something that's not quite clicking for you. Okay. Um, something about their personality may be changeable as well. Okay. Cause I, I, the winged wise ones, I'm looking at the person standing, sitting on the pedestal and it's like, it reminds me of chess, a chess piece. It also reminds me of like a beautiful statue. So this person could be very good looking and that could be the thing that kind of makes you feel like, okay, I'll give them a chance because they're so good looking. Okay. And they're coming into a time where you maybe feel lonely or you feel like you need some support. You feel like you need some help and you're like, oh my God, what perfect timing. Okay. So that's something I'm seeing in there. Tell me more about this person. They could seem very spiritual as well, or as if they're into spirituality, very open, perhaps. What about this person? This really wise one. Okay. Let this one to come out. All right, so we've got the Five of Swords. Um... I don't know why I'm getting the word angsty, but for them, I'm getting like, they're a little bit angsty, like teenagers. I don't know why. Okay. And they might throw tantrums. At, I don't know why I'm getting this, if this is a grown person. Um, so they, it feels like something about the personality is changeable. Okay. Um, they could be a little quick to anger or irritation. Um, it might not be in the, the worst way. It might just be like, they don't take any crap, you know, like they're really nice, but then somebody pushes their buttons. They, they, they're quick to flip, you know, like that. Um, so I feel like with the be that being next to the winged wise ones, it's kind of like they go from angel to devil real quick. Okay. Um, they're attractive. They're in really good shape. Um, they could work as like fitness instructors or some be, have some somewhere in that profession. Okay, or their job could require them to be good looking so they could be like performing arts or acting, something related to that, but they're good looking. Okay, they take care of themselves. I feel like they love to drink though. Okay, they're into their alcohol. Um, and I know this is not sounding like, like the best person, but this is just what I'm picking up. Okay, and this is not necessarily your life partner or anything. This is just the person you'll date next. Okay, um, so it'll be good to look out for this person. Uh, the one good, the one thing I'm seeing is that they're really attractive. Okay, you'll notice them right away. Okay, um, I feel like people seem to really like them. You know, they come off really nice to everybody. People really like them. Let me see what else. What else? Let me know about this person. I feel like they have like it's telling me devilish charm you know something like that they're very charming they get people's attention okay something though for me is weird i i don't know the feeling i'm getting i think you're going to get the same feeling when you meet this person though okay uh people do seem to like them i keep getting that they're irritable though they get irritable irritated okay Your anger irritation they seem very up and down with the Ten of Swords, like moody. Sometimes they're approachable, sometimes they're unapproachable. Um, I see other people who are friends with them. Their friends generally like them. Their friends, like when they're out, you know, they, they're good with people. Their friends try to help them, help them sort out of their feelings. Their friends are good with bringing them opportunities, telling them about stuff. They're really connected to influential people or people who could be influential. Um, they seem determined, you know, because if you're in fitness, you got to be really determined um, and, you know, persistent to stick with something. However, yeah, they're committed to their goals. Um, they like to do things their way. They tend to be unique in their approach, their style, their body, everything. 
Um, let me see what else. Tell me more. Got the Empress. They're beautiful. Extremely beautiful. All right, let me see if I can pull out any more here. A second. One more. All right, uh, ten of Earth, material. Something about material possessions in their body. Okay, um, they're very healthy. Um, they want stability. They want money. They love luxury. Um, they're working on financial abundance. They're working on security. You know, or these are some these are things they value. They may even have this already, you know, like financial security, abundance. They look really good. They, they just, they feel very, like they're all, they're about those things. They may not, it may not look like that on the outside, but they could be a really good saver, saving a lot of money, or they could on the outside show it and spend a lot of money, right? Like finer things. Let's see. Ten of Swords. Okay, Ten of Swords, Queen of, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords. This is about their thinking. So sometimes they may feel like their mind goes awry. They could feel trapped, um, apprehensive. They could get, their speech can get sometimes harsh, perhaps. Their inner, in, like their inner monologue to themselves, okay? People love them, but they seem to have a problem with how they see themselves could be one of the reasons why they're like doing all that you know they're working out a lot because they maybe they don't see themselves as beautiful and they feel they have to do that I don't know to become beautiful it just feels very complex with this person okay what they project on the outside is not how they feel internally they're confused they're uncertain um they feel caught in, I don't know if it's their mind or caught in a trap. It could be just life. They could be really focused on money, but be worried about money. They could have money, but still be worried about money. You know, it feels like that. Um, they could also be in the arts. They could be into writing. They could be super patriotic. Um, they could also be hiding that they're gender fluid. Okay. Because there's some things that they have internally that they're not letting out. And that could be one um, where people don't know that they aren't heteronormative. They could really be gender fluid, okay? But they don't want others to know that they're hiding that. Um, this is a significant relationship. So you'll, you're going to learn a lot from this person, okay? There are many lessons here that are going to help you to grow. And I think they need you as well to learn. Um, they're very kinky as well. I'm hearing that, you know, kink. Like they like to do things in the bedroom, freaky things. Um, let's see. Got the Empress. Two more. Yeah, they're just gorgeous. Um, the Knight of Cups is a dream, a wish come true. These people are glowing. It's almost like when you see them, you're like, you can't help but be attracted to them. Um, and it's going to feel like a wish come true for you, I feel like, okay? Uh, you may be in school when you meet this person. They may be in school. But you're going to feel like this is good fortune for you. You're going to feel very blessed, very abundant when you meet this person. Because they might be blessed and abundant. You might feel like, oh my God, you know, how lucky did I get? So, um... Eventually, you're going to warm up to them when you start talking to them and you find out about them and you start looking at them. You're like, well, you know, maybe this is not so bad. Um, and you're going to start warming up to them, okay? All right. Um, what else am I seeing here? You know what? I'm going to look at what you guys are going to, what's going to happen for you guys. Let me look at that, okay? Let me take a look there. What your relationship will be like. 
All right, so tell me about group three's relationship with this next romantic partner. Tell me about group three's relationship. Connecting to group three and the next romantic partner. What will be some of your relationship? Okay. So you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So this is a person who you're really, really into. Um, I feel like you two get really handsy. You spend a lot of time with each other once you open up. Um, person seems very supportive. Um, they seem to care. Okay. Uh, they may also be an Aquarius or an Earth sign. I'm seeing, I think I told you Capricorn before, but um, and a, yeah, Aquarius, I said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see what else I'm getting here. What's going to happen for you guys? I just see like the two of you making changes in your relationship. It feels like this is already a marriage. One of you knows that you want to marry the other one when you meet, okay? It feels like this is going to turn into a marriage. If it's not like a legal marriage, it's something that feels like that. So you are going to be connected to this person. I'm also feeling like for a few of you, you may already be spoken for when you meet this person or that person may already be spoken for when you two meet. So that could be why I'm also picking up a marriage or a connection, um, I feel you two will decide to look the other way, though, if that's the case, or turn a blind eye to those things that are difficult in your relationship. You know, like, we're already connected, we're already attached. Um, one of you likes to flirt with other people, so that could be a problem, you know, a little problem. Or it could just be the person who likes to flirt is the one that initiated the, you know, this relationship, and that's still something that they do, um, you know, later, as I'm seeing here, um, let's see what else I can pick up. Tell me more. What else takes place? Tell me more. Okay. And um, I hope you guys aren't triggered by this. I'm just reading as I get it, you know, because life is full of circumstances. Everything is not always this one beautiful occurrence. We go through ups and downs, and I say this all the time, nuance, life is nuanced, right? So this relationship might start off being very, very beautiful, as I'm seeing, you have a lot of attraction and this person has a lot to offer you, but then aha, in the background, there might be somebody else, right? Or there might be a connection or something else is going on or, you know, um, because life is really, really very smooth. Okay, and I see here in the tower, there's some, something disruptive in this relationship, okay? There is um, something that's going on, unexpected, something that you, I feel like you're not aware of, like it's springed, sprung on you. Um, you may be both, as I said, seeing someone both be involved already. I feel like you want to separate from them, which is the tower. Like, I want to break away from my old relationship. You know, your old partner for each other. And that might be something you do eventually. Um, because you're going to start to feel like the relationship as it is, is not sustainable. You're trapped, which is the queen of air, the Virgo. And so you may not, one of you may start moving away from it or just see that you can't, you just can't maintain it this way. Right, because there are other people involved in the relationship. So you and your partner are in a clandestine affair now, okay, with persons, with other people, okay, um, whom you feel are less compatible than the two of you because you feel like the two of you are soulmates. Um, and so your romantic partner also, I see, has a hard time opening up with the empress, right? Not sure what to do. Um, your priorities may not even be the same. You both may not have the same idea of what you want to do, or you may both feel the same way but not know what to do about it, okay? Um, so let's see what else. Tell me more. What else will be so in this relationship? Oh, 
Okay, All right? So then the Four of Swords, um, that's praying, but it's also, for relationships, it's also sexual activity and sexual satisfaction, um, it, but it's also disconnection, okay? So not applying enough effort to a relationship, cutting a relationship off. Let's see what that means. Tell me more about this relationship. Okay, so this relationship is going to help you heal overall, okay? This is a significant relationship, as I said before. Um, it feels like it's going to help you heal from some issues. Um, I feel like there's some trauma that'll help you heal from, right? There are benefits to being in this relationship, even though it may not seem like it at the time. Or, um, And... It's also telling me that, yes, we already figured that out. There's some deception in this relationship, right? Because the two of you may be spoken for already, right? So you have to keep up with that, um, seeing someone else while, or one of you, you know, doesn't necessarily mean it's both of you. Okay. And I do feel... Um, that you two are definitely um, in need of each other, okay? For some reason, it's like um, you need, you're gonna, no matter what, you're gonna stay with each other, okay? No matter how hard this gets, I feel you're going to be with each other. You're gonna free yourself from the previous relationships, um, previous issues you have with that relationship because love is hitting you really, really hard. In this relationship and no matter what the troubles the tribulations you're going to stick with it okay i also feel like there's a marriage here because i'm seeing this wedding card as i'm going through you two are going to get married okay um you're going to really try to work hard on this relationship okay i do feel that let's see you're going to give it a chance for sure yeah and it you feel like you know, ultimately, true love. One of you may be really, really into the other person, though. Um, one of you. I don't know if both of you are going to feel the same. It feels like one of you. Yeah, and this is... It says it's going to happen very soon. If you haven't met this person yet, you're going to meet them very soon. Okay? Yeah. I feel one of you is going to be very electrified by the other person. And you may be the one that's like, mm, should I, right? Okay, and let me just check one more place. Okay. And there we go, temperance. That's divine timing. Sometimes it's a card of fate. So you guys are supposed to meet shows you getting back to, back together is like up and down trying to figure out solutions um, because you may this may actually be a long distance kind of relationship as well weird um, could be for some of you things like that like something is something blocking it it could be you're you're involved with someone else but it also feels like it's maybe long distance as well okay um, so let's see what's the ultimate, okay. Yeah, I still feel like you guys are getting married, okay? Coming together, getting married. Um, the, the only other thing that I would like to say, um, is that you will, likely get married, but it feels short-lived. I do feel like you guys will work very hard on this relationship. You will work very hard on staying together. You feel very connected. And as I said, it looks like there are lessons to be learned in this relationship. It feels like you're coming together for a reason, right? It's not empty, no matter what the trials and the obstacles you're going through. However, 
it doesn't seem like a, an extremely long-term relationship. At least for some of you, that's what I'm picking up, okay? There's just a lot of different strands that I'm getting with this particular relationship because it feels like some of you are already spoken for when you meet. It feels like one of you is spoken for when you meet, but it creates, either way, it creates issues. Um, it feels like you're dating other people, but then you decide to choose each other. It just feels very complicated when you meet, okay? Ultimately, you will marry each other or you will decide to get together but it just feels like it, if it's not a legal marriage, it feels like you decide to commit to each other, but it just seems short lived. OK, and that's what I'm picking up. And um, I know when I deliver messages, I just I don't know. I just I, I this this is what I what I do. I just deliver them. Um, I don't form any judgments or anything like that, um, especially since this is just a, who will you date next? It, you know, um, so. This is not the end all be all for your life. This is just one reader telling you what he or she feels or what she feels. Okay. So as I always say, take anything I say with a grain of salt. Okay. This is a tarot card reading. This is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. It only gives you a glance or a glimpse into the potential energies of your life. You ultimately are responsible for whatever you do. Some things are destined, however, right? We have control of our lives. We have free will. So that is my message to you. And that is all I am seeing for you. So if you enjoyed this reading, okay, be sure to uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know how it resonates with you. Okay. Um, even if it doesn't resonate with you or there's something off or you're like, mm, yes, but I think you forgot this or you didn't see this, let me know, right? Because it helps me improve my tower reading practice. So I so I love to read you guys' messages. Um, other than that, thank you so much for joining me at the Red Low Solicitor Tarot. Your support and your energy are what makes this community truly special. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more magical content. And if you're interested in a personal reading or exploring some enchanting items for my Etsy shop, all the links and the details are in the description box below. Your support allows me to continue sharing my passion with the world. And I am truly grateful and deeply grateful for each and every one of you. And I cannot wait to connect with you again in the next video. So until next time, I wish you nothing but the best. Stay magical, stay blessed, and keep shining bright. Toodles.